Why is the E in evolution turned around into a 3 for the sake of this title? Well, because the whole concept of primordial evolution is apparently being aided by three helpers named Nunstuck, Git, and Sotomayor. Evolution has you evolving through life forms in what amounts to sort of a high-speed soccer game, complete with power-ups and obstacles, creating an experience that can be unfair and over before you know it, but set up so that you instantly press retry to give the whole affair another chance. The main gist of the game is to stretch one helper back, and aim it so that it either flies between the other two helpers, creating a line, or it rebounds off a wall to accomplish the same action. It's basically a digital version of that game played in high school, where you have a couple coins in your pocket. The good news is that the actual dragging and aiming work great. The bad news is that, because of the physics, the helpers seem to have a mind of their own. Really, this is more the consequences of bad luck, but you have to wonder if the physics could be tweaked to allow the helpers to float around the game world a little more. It feels like it should have the lack of friction of, say, an air hockey table, but it feels more like a normal surface. Regardless of how the physics work, you will have those times where it's near impossible to break through the line, so luckily the game gives you one failed attempt before it game overs on you. As you play, you'll run into obstacles that require some tricky rebounding and power-ups that can remove these obstacles as well as grant other boons. The more you play and the further you get, the more you work towards evolving the game creature, so there is a goal to work towards as well as seeing how long you can last. Evolution definitely has an addictive nature to it. The visuals are bright and colourful, and the sound pleasantly accompanies your flinging and rebounding experience. This is a great example of a time filler, and as long as some bad luck and helper placement doesn't ruin your experience, this is certainly worth a look. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.